Hello and welcome to Searching the Scriptures, a daily podcast where Bible topics will be discussed and Bible questions will be given Bible answers. No opinion, just Bible. This episode is Lesson 46 of our look at the book of 1 Corinthians. In the last episode, we covered 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 29 through 34. In this episode, we're going to look at 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 35 through 49, and the episode will be titled, How Are the Dead Raised? Let's begin by reading 1 Corinthians chapter 15, starting at verse 35. But some man will say, How are the dead raised up, and with what body do they come? Thou fool, that which thou sows is not quickened except it die. And that, which, and that which thou sows, thou sows not that body that shall be, but bare grain. It may chance of wheat, or of some other grain. But God gives it a body, as it has pleased him, and to every seed his own body. All flesh is not the same flesh, but there is one kind of flesh of man, another of beasts, another of fish, and another of birds. There are also celestial bodies, and bodies terrestrial, but the glory... Uh, but the glory of the celestial is one, and the glory of the terrestrial is another. There is one glory of the sun, and another glory of the moon, and another glory of the stars. For one star differs from another star in glory. So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. It is raised in, in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body, and there is a spiritual body. And so it is written, the first man Adam was made a living soul, the last Adam was made a quickening spirit. Howbeit, that, that was not first which is spiritual, but that which is natural, and afterward that which is spiritual. The first man is of the earth, earthy, the second man is the Lord from heaven. As is the earthy, such are they also that are earthy, and such is the heavenly, such are they also that are heavenly. And as we have borne the image of the earthy, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. Here Paul is answering the question of how are the dead raised, or in what type of body do the dead possess when they are raised? Paul here in verses 36 to 38 uses an analogy of wheat. As long as grain sits in the bin, or in the barn, it is dead, though the life seed is in it. However, once the grain is buried... The outer seed decays and produces a new plant. It is alive. But it had to be buried in order to do that. So, what body it is given, once it is made alive again, is given by God. In verses 39 to 41, Paul here tells us of the different bodies God gives things. All flesh have different bodies. Whether we're beasts, or fish, or birds, or humans, we all have different bodies. We don't all look the same. Our flesh is not the same. Celestial bodies are the same type of thing. The sun is certainly not our body. Neither is the moon. Neither are any of the stars. He also says that not even all the stars are given the same types of body. They are all given a different kind of body. One star differs from another star in glory. What these bodies do enable us to perform our necessary functions. We do not perform the functions of the sun. We don't have that type of body. We are unable to do that. The sun has that type of body to produce us light, to produce us heat, to produce us all of the other things that we need to survive. The sun's body is able to do that. The sun could not do that in our body. Just like we can't do the things that we need to do with the sun's body. We each are given a different body so that we can do the things which God wants us to do. But the point Paul makes is God gave that body. In verses 42 through 49 he says, So it is with the resurrection. God will provide us a body that will enable us to do the things now which God wants us to do, which is to live in heaven. Our earthly bodies are for this earth. They are sown in corruption, dishonor, in weakness. They are a natural body. Now, sin made our bodies this way, not God. God's creation was very good. We could have lived forever here on this earth if we had not disobeyed God, because once we disobeyed God, God took away the tree of life. Our bodies now started to decay. 
we now die because of that. But when we are raised, we are raised in incorruption. We are raised in glory. We are raised in power. We have a spiritual body. Christ enabled us to be raised in this fashion because he died, he paid the price for sin, and he rose again. That's why we can have this spiritual body. We are like the first Adam while here on this earth. We are earthy. But we're like the second Adam, Christ, when we are raised, we would be heavenly. Now this is the promise to the Christian. Everyone will be raised, everyone will receive a body. Some will receive a body that is fit for hell. And some will receive a body that is fit for heaven. They will all be spiritual bodies. They will look different than our body. We do not know how we will look. Will I look the same? How will I know other people? Obviously we will. But we don't know what that body looks like. We do know that God will provide that body. Just as he provided physical bodies for the things here on this earth, he will provide us a spiritual body as well. In the next episode, we're going to be covering 1 Corinthians 15, 50 through 58, and it's going to include Paul's concluding remarks concerning the resurrection. So I hope you will join us for that episode. But perhaps you're listening and you're not a Christian. The brethren here in Toronto would love to study the Bible with you so that you could hear the word of God, believe it, and obey it before it is everlastingly too late. If you'd like to set up a study, you can send us an email at torontoeastendchurchofchrist at gmail.com. On behalf of the East End Church of Christ in Toronto, Canada, I'd like to thank you for listening to this episode. This podcast will be on hiatus until Tuesday, February the 14th, 2017. In the meantime, we invite you to visit our website at www.eastendchurch.org. There you'll be able to find free online Bible-based material and be able to get directions to our meeting place. You'll also find there links to more of our podcasts, as well as links to the live broadcasts of our services. Should you have any questions about this or any of the other podcasts you may have listened to, you may leave a comment below or email us at torontoeastendchurchofchrist at gmail.com. We look forward to returning the Lord willing again in, on February the 14th of this year with more episodes from God's Word. Until then, goodbye for now and have a great day.